Toontown episode two has dropped and we need to watch it, right? We need to watch Toontown episode two. Um, so far, view wise, it's tracking quite well. It probably might do better than the first episode. First episode got 19,000 views and this one's on like 2.8 and it's only seven hours ago. So it might get a lot of views in total, which is odd. But maybe the, the what, because I think he said he's going to drop them once per month, isn't it? which is a weird thing to do when you're doing these type of shows. But one episode per month might actually work, building the anticipation between the show. So this might actually end up getting more views. So let's see, Wagwan. Um, did Brandon Shaw buy Lemon lightning off the internet? Toontown episode two. I love that how one episode has it in lowercase, one episode has it in you know uppercase, one is EP2, one is episode two. Great template, uh, you know, great fucking, um, what's that thing called? Yeah, great fucking commonality in terms of the titles and whatever it's called. I love that. I love that. Attention to detail, level 100. Let's go. Went south on the investment of that Ford Lightning. I can't floor it. it. doesn't work. Did it move a fuse as soon as we started it? It's nerve wracking my account. I'm looking for a Ford Lightning, dude. I need a Generation 2 Ford Lightning with no mods, low miles. I'm looking for a unicorn. Oh, so is this the day that he actually bought it? Or are they like doing a little telenovela sketch thing? Because that would be really redacted, right? If they tried to make it look like this is the day he actually bought the thing by doing this shit. Because if there's one thing I can tell by the way he's looking using that computer... He's never used that computer. This looks like a man who doesn't use computers. He's he's using a computer the same way you use it when you go and print off papers. Right? Where you go to like a, I don't know, like an internet cafe to go print some fucking, you know, a boarding pass. That's what he looks like. <laughs> that doesn't look like somebody that uses a fucking desktop computer at home or in the studio. It's probably the first time he's ever touched it. A nice price too. Oh, 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 oh. I think I found one, bud. I'm going to look and I'm going to like it. <laughs> this is the great acting that we saw in that Hollywood fucking blockbuster cameo shit that he did, right? This is the fucking type of level of acting that was having agents across Hollywood and further regions of the world busting out his door. Big up Courtney Kemper. Chin didn't quadruple check the title consistency. Yeah, there you go. That's the word. Title consistency. Oh yeah, triple. Oh yeah. So Chin is triple quadruping shit before he got. You know, he's checking it out when he's at work. He's checking it in the car. He's checking it when he goes home. He's checking it after he's buried the bodies in his garden. He's checking it after he's thrown some off his balcony. And then you still get those fucking errors. You fucking love it. Only twenty thousand miles. I also love the fact that now he's turned into the racing car merch guy. No more thick boy. He's now every shop that he goes to, he buys merch from them. It's kind of redacted, isn't it? Every garage he goes to, he like buys merch. Hey, have you, do, you, do you guys have t-shirts? I'll take anything in an XL. Like, what is this? This weird signaling, like I'm a, I'm a Gary head because I've got fucking, you know, car related merch. It's like, okay, cool, man. What happened to Thick Boy? What happened to Thick Boy Bike Club? What happened to that, mate? What happened? Oh. Four minimal mods. Okay, it's in Arizona. How far is Arizona? Eight hours? Okay. Be a fun drive. Take the little man out of school. Go get it. <laughs> this acting is so stupid and pointless. Why can't you just make the show around you trying to fix the car and get it back on, get it into, get it in um in working shape and shit, right? Or get it so it runs properly. Sorry. Why Why isn't that a good premise of a show? Why does it have to be this fake or this reenactment of how he bought the car. Why do you have to do this? Just make the show centered around, hey, I bought a lemon, I fucked up, I didn't test drive it properly, I missed out on some key things, or just, or make it as a redemption thing. Why don't you make it as like a, hey, um, here's what you shouldn't do if you're gonna buy a Ford Lightning off the internet, sight unseen. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. And then at the end, you get everything fixed. Why this fake reenactment is so stupid. But it also goes to show they don't have much content. This feels like they had to make this up 
there to kind of make this to kind of you know fluff it up a bit let's give this fella a call yeah i was just calling in regards to i saw online you have a 2004 ah, fuck off fuck off you cunt what the fuck is this come on brendan fuck off what is this acting what is this acting no one's on the phone no one's on the fucking phone come on brendan brother come on you're better than this, bro. You're better than this. Hey, um, hello? 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 I'm just calling about a car. Yeah, a car I saw on the internet. It's silver. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? What happened to the men? What happened to all the men, you mean? I don't know. Water? Huh? Weed? Dune. What the movie Dune? Hair? Yeah, I've got some. <laughs> it's like... Ford? Ford Lightning? Yeah, the silver one. Yeah, I'd love to come by and see it. That could work. And in regards to mods, there's not too many mods on it and it, it, it runs good. It's pristine, huh? Yeah, and I'll send it. Oh my before god, I head down, bro. But yeah, sounds good. What's up, dog? I think. Oh my god, this acting is fucking horrendous oh my god bro this is so embarrassing we got one baby we'll see correct yeah 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 they're cool the plan is i would love if uh one of your inspectors could go uh to the dealership inspectors lols big up austin casey you're right if he actually did the episode about how he screwed up and bought a lemon, not only would it be funny, but it would actually be endearing. He might win some people over. It really isn't that difficult. Big up Austin Casey. I appreciate it, brother. It really isn't that difficult. But again, every time we say sensible things about what Brennan should do, we always have to assume, we, we always have to caveat that, or we always have to keep in mind that the guy's a bona fide redact, actually is redacted. Because also think about this. Think of this script. Think of this whole... Think of this storyboard for this fucking episode. Why is this necessary? Why? Why? It's a, it's a show about your cars or your journey in to being a... Like, I don't... Again, let's just play it. I don't want to keep pausing. Let's play it. And just give it a once over for me. Yeah, it's right out, right outside. Phoenix. Inspectors, it's like ten minutes outside. Get one of your uh, inspectors. Phoenix. That works perfect for me. Perfect. I bet you he spends the entire time sitting down. He takes his car to a garage. He sits down, lets some other man fix it. He takes his car to another garage. He sits down. He fixes oh, the, the entire show. Will just be him sitting down. If he's not driving his car, sitting down, he's sitting down waiting, using a, waiting for another man to fucking fix his car. Wild. Look forward to the call, but. One hour. One hour. They have someone right outside there. Yeah, he says he's like 20 minutes away. So they go get their peepers on it. Now you gotta hope the guy knows what he's looking for. You gotta hope he understands this type of car because they might just specialize in. Hey, man. Good, um, you know, good production quality, right? With the blinds just like bleeding all the way through his t shirt. We love it. We fucking loved it. And that's I didn't ask. That's why I messed up. Yeah. <laughs> you might mess up your mustache as well, brother. Again. I want to know, someone please tell me in the stream chat, why is this right-hand side of his moustache the problem area? Why is this side? Why can he never get it the same length as the other side? Why? Why is this side the problem area? It's so bizarre to me. Because a part of me just thinks, why don't, you just, why don't you just follow your smile lines and just end it there? Or put your finger here or something. Why is he always this end longer than that end? Why? I figure if they're inspectors, they know they're sending a guy who knows these type of cars. Because if they're just used to like looking at like Jeep Wranglers, he probably won't know what to look for with mods. What so the fuck is this? thing's inspector? as good as they say it is. The guy's exact words on the phone was this thing's show quality. This thing show quality. It's, it's spotless. So of course serious. he's going to say that. He's a fucking car salesman. Or he's trying to sell a car. What person trying to sell a car, unless it's a fucking... Unless it's an absolute beater, 
who's going to not tell you the car is good? And even I don't know much about cars, but unless you're actually willingly going to go buy a 500 pound car or something, who's going to tell you their car is a fucking lemon? They're not going to say that. Of course, they're going to say show quality. You shouldn't, that, that should go in through one year out through the other. It's also, the guy wants my money and you're buying a car off the internet without looking at it. Th there we go. Thank God he said that. Let's see how it goes. Talk so there we go. He's got, without looking, so he's, he's actually admitting going to, oh my God, what the fuck are those dunks? Jesus Christ. He's at, he's actually admitting that he's buying this shoe sight unseen. It's fucking crazy. Bell's underrated, dude. Two chicken quesadillas, a large diet Pepsi. Um, oh, hold up, okay. hold up, hold up. Shut your little mouth. Shut up. Shut, 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 shut. This is it. Should I put it on speaker? No. Hey. Yeah. I wish they would have put it on speaker because I love how they cut so you can't see the screen. I love how they cut so you can't see the screen. No one's fucking calling. <laughs> I love how they cut the clip so you can't see the screen. Because if you would have seen it, we would have seen the we would have seen the screen, right? Yeah? Look, 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 look. look. Um, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Guess a phone. Shut up. Shut up. You could easily this turn it and we could see the screen, speaker? but we don't see it. Look. Hey. Look, look at that cut. <laughs> hey, it goes through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what he said on the phone. No, I'm looking at it right now. I'll fly out there and I will drive it back to LA. See, they keep switching the cameras so you can't see the. Because when you, if you're on the phone, you would have this little light. You'd have you see you see this, but they keep switching it on the other side so you can't see it. You know, look. Every time they keep switching it. No, I'm looking at it right now. I'll Boom, fly out switch. there and I will drive it back to LA. Okay, thank you. Excited. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Boom. <laughs> no one's on the phone. No one's there. Look at that face. He knows he's talking to nobody. It reminds me of that time I always tell you guys about that my neighbor that I had who used to pretend he was hooking up with a girl in his bedroom but he was actually humping a pillow. Or as Br Brenner would say, a pillow. What's up? He said it's absolutely spotless. So I will book my flight right now. I will pull my kiddo out of school and we will fly to Phoenix, Arizona and go pick up this 2004 Ford Lightning. Hold on. Is he going to take his kid out of school midday? to go and buy a car. It means he's picking him up after school, right? You're taking your kid out of school midday to go buy a car. That's the most LA thing I've ever heard in my life. To Phoenix, Arizona, and go pick up this 2004 Ford Lightning. Hold on. We will fly to Phoenix, Arizona, and go pick up this 2004 Ford Lightning. One might ask why- no, no, just, What did he say? What did he say? Stop. He said it's absolutely- spotless so i will book my flight right now i will pull my kiddo out of school and pull my kiddo out of school to go and pick up a ford lightning but isn't the inspector going so why do you need to pull your kid out of school isn't fucking inspector gadget inspector lightning gonna go and check your car this is a such a irresponsible way to parent <laughs> taking your kid out of school midday to go and what pick up a car because you anyway and we will fly to Phoenix, Arizona and go pick up this 2004 Ford Lightning. One might ask, why do I want a Ford Lightning? Well, there's an element of nostalgia for me. When I was in high school, these things were the bee's knees. You know? It's funny that you've never, ever heard Brendan talk about a Ford Lightning. And he's mentioned Paul Walker a lot, right? Um, from Fast and Furious, RIP to him. I'd rather watch Chin Fishing and his bad cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a surprise for you later then I might have a surprise for you later Big up Scott, appreciate it brother Didn't have to be a gearhead to know these things were freaking cool The Ford's On here again, it's gearhead, it's a gearhead You didn't have to be a gearhead to know these things Gearhead, gearhead Things were freaking cool The Ford Special Vehicle Team, also known as SVT Was conceived in 1991 Their mission was Hey, Brendan's, Brendan's reading Wikipedia He's finally doing some pre-recorded voiceover type shit, right? He's learned some lessons from the episode one. It's, this is this is again, but I don't know if this is this was made for him or he made, or he got it commissioned. But he's doing something. This is a, an improvement. It's not much, but it's a big improvement. Great vehicles that stop as well. They accelerate, ride as well as they handle, and most importantly, went fast, really fast. It's also important to mention that if the SVT team didn't develop the Ford Lightning. 
you wouldn't have your beloved Ford Raptor. They debuted the Mustang Cobra in the first generation Ford Lightning in 1993. At a Chicago auto show, it blew people away. The first generation Lightning had 240 horsepower, went 0 to 60 in just 7 seconds. I know what you're thinking. 7 seconds? That ain't fast. You gotta remember kids, this is the early 90s. Also, you could only get it in two colors, red or black. I love, I love how he, he only uses black people for promotion. He doesn't like hanging out with blacks, but he uses them for fucking promotion on videos. I know what okay. you're thinking. Seven seconds, that ain't fast. You gotta remember, kids, this is the early 90s. Also, you could only get it in two colors, red or black. Pretty badass. They launched the second generation Lightning in 1999. It went zero to... Yeah, Uche knows, isn't it? Uche knows. Uche knows. Uche, Uche knows. Uche knows what time I'm on right now. <laughs> 60 in 5.8 seconds still thinking that's not fast this was the fastest production truck ever made so watch your mouth to take it to another level the ford lightning was showcased in the blockbuster hit fast and furious ever heard of it rest in peace paul walker by today's standards it's not the fastest truck on the road by any means but with some simple mods these bad boys can move and that's what i'm gonna do what's Oh my god. The die is back. That die job was so funny. Such a funny die job. <laughs> it grows in dark. <laughs> it grows in dark. Oh, he's a fucking legend, man. The things he lies at. Honestly, he reminds me so much of that friend. Big up, John, wherever you are, John. You're a fucking psycho, man. Make us fucking believe you're fucking a girl and you're fucking humping a pillow. You're an absolute psycho. Wherever you are, I appreciate you. But he reminds me so much of my old neighbor, John. What a big up Austin Casey. Wait, only red and black? How is his silver if it's stock? Oh, uh, I didn't realize that, actually, Austin Casey. Amazing observation. Yeah, I didn't realize that. It's all stock. Remember, it's all stock apart from the pulley, apart from the induction, apart from the engine. It's all stock. <laughs> it's all stock. Apart from the interior, the upholstery, it's all stock, right? There's the, the whole inside's been changed. There's a new engine. There's a new heat pump, but it's all stock. What's up, fam? Your boy is... Yeah, exactly. Stock aftermarket. <laughs> stock aftermarket. <laughs> Let me go tell you. Uh, big up to Jimmy Austin Casey in stock off the market. I was out here in Phoenix, Arizona. I flew out here this morning because I found the gem of all cars. The 16-year-old in me is freaking out right now. If I love how he's trying to pretend he's enthusiastic about this shit when he's just discovered this hobby a, a couple of months ago. It's quite psychotic, to be fair. This is a form of mental illness. He's just discovered his hobby a couple of days ago and he's acting as if He's been nostalgic. Like, I'm willing to bet. I'm going to go out on a ledge here. I think Brendan just invented this lore around Ford Lightning in his life. He just invented it. He probably rewatched Fast and Furious one time recently, maybe with his kids. He saw Paul Walker driving that pickup truck. He's like, oh, that looks cool. He Googled it and find it, found out about it. But I'm going to say he found out about Ford Lightning within the next, the last six months. I don't think he knew that car existed before. He didn't remember it. But he watched the movie and he was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. And then he started, then he did what he does. When you're a pathological liar, he, he did that thing where he invented, like, yeah, I always used to be like, you know, it's like guys are lying about being a pressure footballer. Yeah, I could have been a footballer, but, you know, it's my knees, man, my knees, you know, my knees. Yeah, I, I had trials for Man United, you know. I played for fucking Real Madrid, you know, but the language barrier. <laughs> I could have stayed there, but you know, the language barrier. If you had this car when I was in high school, you were basically Leonardo DiCaprio or you're Paul Walker. I flew all the way out to Phoenix, Arizona to pick up a gem, a cherry of a generation two, 2004 Ford Lightning. Check this bad boy out. Not a mark on it. Generation so it wasn't enough that we got all that other pre-roll, all that other fucking, what's that? That fucking B-roll shit. We also got it more in this clip. Great. More B-roll. Let's just add all the B-roll in here. Forward lightning. I'd love there, I'd love there to be, I'd love if someone could count how much screen time there is of actually Brendan talking about cars. Someone should calculate that. 
how much screen time, how much time is he on camera talking about cars? It's a 12 minute video. How much of this 12 minute video is he actually speaking to camera about cars, about being a gearhead, about mods and all that shit? I bet you it's under five minutes. Check this bad boy out. Not a mark on it. Generation two, 2004, the tonneau cover. He did the delete in the back. Filthy, filthy, not crazy about the Euro lights, whatever. Tires are good. That's sick. They see all, all stock, Billy all stock. Grill. You all put stock. an aftermarket <laughs> intake aftermarket. on it. The Poly <laughs> Diablo Sport. Po all stock, aftermarket intake. <laughs> <laughs> he's a psychopath he's a fucking psychopath i swear to god holy for electric horsepower we got plans for this so i don't care about any of that i care about the low mileage oh, you got no wear and tear on the ride uh -huh. yeah so this comes with 380 horsepower 450 pounds of torque uh -huh. and the interior is what drives me absolutely bonkers check it out so these are from ford and uh, you can take those off and this interior has never touched a human's booty Some carbon fiber on it but other than that stock so now i got <laughs> what carbon fiber but other than that is stock i drive back to la and this bad boy it's taking about five six hours and change got my co-pilot here say what up t what's up my peeps <laughs> my peeps okay dude all right see you guys on the other side he actually did take <laughs> so his kids holding the camera <laughs> <laughs> That's how you pay for private school. Hold the camera. <laughs> Look at the mustache. <laughs> oh, it's giving high. It's giving high seagull, and it's giving. <laughs> it's giving Volkswagen, isn't it? That mustache is giving fucking Volkswagen. I'm trying pick up. Like what? He's <laughs> an all black as well, bro. He looks. You know, that uniform he's got on now is giving sorry that outfit is giving this that outfit is giving this <laughs> that outfit is giving this <laughs> if you know you know that outfit is giving this <laughs> LA bound LA bound in this generation 2 2004 lightning god bless that kid in it that kid has to fucking take pictures of his mum twerking and he has to record these redacted videos of his dad driving a car that he got bumped on. It's like, you got to pay for your toys in your fucking private school somewhere, innit? God almighty. Take us about six hours to get to LA. We'll see you on the other side. Now, things went south on the investment of that Ford Lightning. Oh, so... <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cut is this? Oh, This is him trying to lean into the fucking meme. Embrace the fucking L. It was so... And it's not even an, a good L to embrace because it's so easily avoidable. Who goes to buy a car without test driving it or without going there... Oh no, or doing this. If you don't if you're gonna test drive it but you don't know what you're looking for, if you're buying a Ford Lightning, or if you're buying a car that's that old, surely you'd go on YouTube, you type that car in, car review, you'd see what other people said about the car, and you might even stumble across somebody who bought one recently. And they might tell you in that video, hey, here's what to look for. Cars from this year have these issues. They have these problems. You might want to keep in mind this. If you're buying it, whatever, secondhand, make sure you ask the owner this, 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 and that. Look for this, 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 and that. Surely that isn't too hard to do. And again, me no car guy. Me me ride bicycle to worky, you know? Me me riding bicycle like a good immigrant. But surely, if I know how to, if I know that was the first thing I would do if I was buying a fucking two- you know, if I was buying a 2010 fucking BMW X5, the first thing I'd do is fucking go on fucking the internet and say, BMW X5 2010, whatever fucking litre it was, if it was diesel or fucking petrol, whatever, right? Automatic or manual, whatever the specs were. And then I'd find out what people said about that car. I'd find out the issues were, maybe the tyres you know, whatever, do something. Maybe the axle has some sort of kink in it. Maybe the steering after a while needs, maybe the power steering is a bit iffy. 
you know, after a certain amount of miles, maybe the gearbox need whatever, whatever, whatever the issue is, you just Google it. So you just find out what to look for to keep an eye on. And also as a man, as a man, there's a bit of pride. You don't want to go to somebody and get scammed. And you want, and you kind of want to act like you know what you're talking about. So you want to go there armed with some bit of knowledge with some things that you read online or you listen to. As a man, you'd want to do that. This guy was calling up inspectors and like, it's a life full of maids, isn't it? Butlers and maids inspectors and shit like always helping assistance from adults humans that, that you can't just do yourself with a little google it's fucking bizarre no <laughs> oh no oh no the one so, i was in yes oh, so boy. when you buy a car online yeah. it doesn't tell you all the problems and then you get on the also this fucking politician thumb thing he's doing is infuriating because it looks like he's trying to do a bit and i've got a feeling i've got an I've got a gut feeling that this whole Ford Lightning saga is going to end up in his, it's going to end up as a bit. I've got a feeling. Either he's going to put a video out or in his new special, you're going to hear something about cars. I've got a feeling because he's doing this whole like not pointing fun thing, right? To the camera, right? And it feels like he's doing it because he's trying to memorize, you know, fucking, you know, little beats on the bit he's trying to put together. Oh, so lame, so lame. Huh. Buying cars from 2004 in 2024. Am I right? <laughs> I'm the kind of guy who watches a movie and then I'm like, you know what I need? A new car. Yo, big up, Scott. I appreciate you. Mustache is all stock, no paint, just like the truck. <laughs> That's hilarious. Mustache is. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's funny. That was good. Mustache is all stock, no pain. <laughs> Aftermarket mustache. <laughs> that's what they should call people that get hair transplants, isn't it? If you get a hair transplant, that's what you should be called. You should be called an aftermarket hair transplant. Or like when you get new teeth. Aftermarket <laughs> aftermarket teeth. <laughs> aftermarket veneers. Oh mate. But big up, big up, I'm Scott. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for the um, super chat. On the highway and you floor it and he goes, nah, good. <laughs> and then it just doesn't work like it's supposed to. And then you dyno it in front of the most manly mechanics. You know, these guys, they have their, they have their Raptor R's. They got these thousand, you know, horsepower diesel. In, they, they're guys. I'm like, the let's guys, get guys. this lightning up there. Like yeah. compared yeah. to their trucks, I'm, I'm the bottom here. Yeah, and so they they dyno theirs. You know, one's seven hundred horsepower at the wheels, another's yeah. six hundred, the others five forty. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Get my truck up there, and they're like, okay. They don't let me put it on there because I look gay and I have skinny jeans on. So they drove my truck up there, hurt my feelings. Oh boy! So they get the truck on the thing. You you know what dyno at the first time it went again? These numbers five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. Oh no! Oh no! One hundred twenty five. Oh, there's something wrong with your dyno. The guy goes, no, nope, it's your transmission. And I go, what do you mean? I just bought it. He goes, yeah, but it's 20 years old, bud. It's your transmission. Goes, Being happy to announce that, not knowing, I don't know. He goes, floor it again. It's not, it's just not, there's something wrong with the transmission. Oh, no. It was in the shop. It is 8 a.m. We're headed to Diction Motorsport because I got right here from LMR the parts. I got the, the spark plugs, the fuel pump, the filter. And according to Eddie at Addiction Motorsports, that's all we need to get this. Hold on, what did he say? Spark plugs. I, it is 8 a.m. We're headed to Addiction Motorsport. Also, what happened to the drive home? He drove the car home. You didn't see him dropping it off at his house. You didn't see him driving into his garage. You didn't see any nighttime footage of him talking about the drive home. He just went from the studio clip, pre-recorded, and then it went to another clip of him driving it to a garage. I love the, how the storyboarding, arcing, whatever of this shit is all over the place, right? Made up the start of where he's going to buy it. Goes to buy it with, you know, and it's actually got footage of him buying it. But then there's no footage of him driving it back home, parking it, in it, or driving into his garage, or even doing some late night video of him standing in front of the car like fucking Ty Lopez talking about it. No, none of that. That's just next morning to the garage again, chip and pin machine, 
Let's go. Fix my car. Shop. It is 8 a.m. We're headed to Diction Motorsport because I got right here from LMR the parts. I got the spark plugs, the fuel pump. The What's the point of buying a car this old or doing this type of show? Not the car. Forget the car. Because I feel like if it was me, I would actually like to buy like an early 2000s Ford Focus ST, right? It's one of those, it's, it's a really hood car, ratchet car. If you know, you know, right? Hatchback, orange, you know, crazy fucking body, like whatever, right? I'd love to buy one of those. But I'd love to get it just like, buy it for a couple of grand or however much it is, and then just get get all the get all the parts just upgraded, right? Bring it up to scratch for nowadays. But if you're going to do this type of show, surely part of the fun will be fucking it up. If you if you have to change spark plugs and a water pump or whatever it is, I would suggest if it was me, I'd rather just do it on my own. I would imagine to change spark plugs isn't too difficult. I'm sure there's people online who tell you how to, you know, there's YouTube people who would show you and just turn it into a bit of a weekend project. Because why not? It's it's a two it's a 2004 car anyway. It's not as if like it's going to be a daily driver. Just do it as part of the project and it'll be a fun thing for the show. Even if you fuck it up, it's a bit of fun because you're learning on the go and you're learning as the show is being filmed. Why bother taking it to a fucking garage to change spark plugs? That's quite embarrassing. Filter, according to Eddie at Addiction Motorsports. That's all also, he might have Doxy's address with that as well, but hey. All we need to get this bad way up and running so it doesn't run like a freaking Prius. So we're finally headed to Addiction Motorsports to get this bad boy just running and hopefully it, it's all good and then we can start the the tune fest so i can't floor it i gotta gradually go up like a freaking you can't floor it it's a bummer you buy a, a freaking ford lightning and you want to rip the streets so you get on the highway so why didn't you why does it hold on how did you not know any of these things when you bought the car you can't floor it why weren't you aware of this when you bought the car when you're driving it around, test driving it, why couldn't you just... Surely that's what you do when you buy a car. You floor it, you brake really hard, you maybe do a three-point turn, you may do whatever that 360 turn, whatever that's called, you might fucking go hard on some corners, you might fiddle around with the fucking transmission. Again, I'm not a car guy, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. That's what you'll do, right? You might actually play around with the fucking, with the windows. If they're electric, do they go, oh, they go down, they go up. Window wipers, test if the, if the water, water fucking spray shit works. Air conditioner, try that if that works. <laughs> Isn't that easy to, I don't know, look at the timer on the fucking dashboard. Can you set the time on it? How did you not know this stuff when you, and even the way he's driving, he's even driving like a fucking redact, you know? He's even got that little redact hunch. Look. Yeah, hey, mommy, look. <laughs> Come on, Brendan. You have too much money to do this type of shit, man. <sighs> it's a gradual game because if I go too much, I'm going to break something. And there's no boost. That's the other thing. This thing has a eating supercharger on it. It even sounds, again, I'm nobody, I'm nobody. I know I'm nobody and I don't know shit what I'm talking about. I literally have a pedal bike. But is it me or does it sound weird? The engine, can you not, does it not sound weird? Or is it because he's not really revving it up too much or not flooring it, quote unquote? It sounds odd. It sounds like it's running bad. And again, maybe it's just me. And there's no boost. That's it. This guy is the perfect, perfect victim for a scam. Perfect victim for a scam. Him and Brian Callen. Brian Callen got scammed for 15 grand for somebody doing a right click view page source on the fucking TFAK Reddit. Brendan Shaw got scammed by somebody in fucking Arizona. All he did, he had to just jet wash the car, paint the fucking tires black. You know, 
upholstery, do the upholstery and clean all that shit up, give a bit of a shine on the outside. And Brendan just got sold. A guy in Arizona just scammed him because the car looked shiny. <laughs> Guys are fucking insane. I love, he didn't mention how much he paid for it either, by the way. He didn't mention how much he paid for it. He needs to stop that face. He needs to stop this. This soy boy face is horrendous. Especially, this is, this, you should only have this sort of like joy on your face because the bit, like the parts came in that you ordered from Belgium. You had to order a particular spark plug from Japan. You had to, you went to order the actual brand, Ford brand decals and they took four months to get here. That's how you should smile. Because you know you're going to do it yourself. You're like, oh my God, I've been waiting for this fucking stuff from eBay for ages. I, I, I want to replace the fucking seat belts. You got the fucking right ones you want to replace. And you're happy because you're going to go and try and... Because again, as a dude, I love to fucking just fix shit. Or I'm just... Cause, maybe because I'm handsy. No Chris D'Elia, No No Brian Callan. But I'm just handsy in terms of like, I like to fiddle with shit. So when I buy stuff, you know, you want to like change the fucking... I don't know, the seat post on your bike. The fucking... I don't know, the chain, the pedals, the fucking stem, the handlebars, the grips. Same with cars, I'm assuming. Part of the joy of being a car guy is that you buy this stuff online and you want to figure it out yourself. And if you can't figure it out, okay, then you go to a garage. But you're going to give it a try. Hey, let me try and figure out how I can fix a wing mirror. How I can replace this. How I can replace the fucking, the rear lights, the headlights. And this guy's smiling at it because he's going to take it to a shop. And he's going to run his car through the chip and pin machine. <laughs> hey, chocolate drop. Don't laugh at my grips, bro. Don't laugh at my grips. When I'm down that fucking street and my ass, when, I'm, when I stand up from my seat, and I let the, my legs go and I'm shifting from side to side on my bike and my bum is just swaying in the fucking wind and that sway is giving me a little bit of momentum. I go, bro. On my bike, I fucking go. I am going. I'm moving. <laughs> all you hear is... <laughs> That's all you hear. What, what are they doing? Of course, it's a fucking Hispanic. Of course, it's a brown person that's going to go fix his car. Of course. <laughs> the real handymen, the real men of the men out there. Of course, he's the one going to be working on the car while smoking a cigarette and listening to fucking music on one ear. <laughs> Okay, cool. So his car had to get lifted. So maybe he couldn't do all this stuff by himself. They had to lift his car, but so far I'm not seeing anything that he couldn't have done with a little bit of elbow grease. Or my or my bugging out. I don't think there's anything he could have done here that he couldn't have done by himself. I know they lifted the car a bit, but so far it's not looking that crazy. Before. So I guess is that the pump? After. <laughs> Come on, Brendan, man. Come on, Brendan, man. You could have did this. Come on. Peace out.
something is unplugged. Again. Of course, the real men, the real fucking men, right? The real chicos, the real hermanos. Look at them working, elbow grease. Uh, you know, it's like not. It's not wanting to start after we put the fuel pump in there, but the ECU was adding twenty five percent fuel in the long terms, so more than likely I have to clear the um, the keep alive memory and have all the long term reset back to zero. <laughs> Brenda's, and then Brenda's <laughs> he's not even there. <laughs> You went to go get lunch. He's not even there. I'll just check to see why it's misfiring after the install. So, But I'm going to check fuel pressure because if fuel pressure is back to 34 where it's supposed to be at instead of 20, obviously it's got more fuel pressure and now it doesn't need all that fuel that the EC was putting in under the long terms from when it was running out of fuel. So, Yeah, he can charge what he wants. When he speaks like that about cars, he can charge what the fuck he wants. When he speaks like that about cars, he can charge what the fuck he wants. When he speaks like that about cars, he can charge what the fuck he wants. Try to keep it alive. If it has no fuel pressure, it ain't gonna run. Where's Brendan? This again? Where is he in his whole footage? Where's Brendan? And I take it to a garage like this. I'm gonna be standing there with my arms crossed like an old man, watching everything they do, so I can maybe learn. Hopefully, I can maybe man learn through just watching them. It blew the fuse as soon as we started it. So since the bigger pumps draw more amperage, it blew the fuse. It has a factory 20 amp fuse. So we put a 30 amp fuse in there, you know, and then it didn't blow it. Because the bigger pumps, since they're 340 liter per hour, now instead of the factory 195 or something like that, I believe they are, um, they draw more amperage. So as soon as we started it, it blew the fuse. You know, and we're like, then we're like trying to figure out why it won't even start. So, uh, you know, keep it simple, check the, with the test light, check the fuel pump fuse and it was blown. Put a 30 amp in it, it's fine now. So they replaced the fuse on the fuel pump because it wasn't the correct one. And they replaced the spark plugs. And they charged him money for this shit. <sighs> Great episode, isn't it? So, simple. Um, fuel pressure is good. For you car enthusiasts, this is a really this is a show to add to your watch later list. So now we'll just uh, put it on the dyno and see what we do. <laughs> I'm com. I don't know, again. I'm convinced there's a scam in this. This di dyno shit. I'm sure there's some scam in this. Something tells me that's not necessary with most cars. Again, I don't know nothing about cars, but I've got a feeling there's a scam in this. Like doing all this shit, like plug it into stuff, having the wheels spit. Like, this feels scammy. <laughs> you know? Somebody just throws that big, like, there's something, there's something that could be exploited from this. He had 376 and 450 torque, 10 and a half pounds of it. Was, he, was that him sitting down? Again, s sitting down. Sitting down driving on the way there. Sitting down in the garage while all the real men work on his phone. Texting baddies. Asking George for addies. Love it. He had 376 and 450 torque, 10 and a half pounds of it. That's kind of what it should be at, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a scam? <laughs> yeah, don't trust anything, Robert. Don't trust anything. You can't trust it. Eddie? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, like, if it made like 14 pounds with another pulley, it would probably make right around 400 wheel. So this only this only has the upper pulley, 10 and a half pounds. So 370. I mean, these things make 380 to the crank stop. <laughs> Look at his face. He hasn't got a fucking clue what's going on. Look at his face. He hasn't got a fucking clue. Yeah, they make like 320 to 330 wheel stock. Yeah, uh, so that dead dead eye look. Uh huh. Yep. So cold air kit and pulley. It's up 40, 
Me no English. <laughs> hey, um, se- hey, senor. Did I tell you my wife is actually Mexican? You probably tried to get a Mexican discount, didn't it? Hey, senor. Hey, hombre. <laughs> yeah, she's actually from Guadalajara, actually. It's be interesting to drive it now. It's been so brutal. He's tired. He's tired from having to sit down and wait for the real men to actually work on his car. He's exhausted. <laughs> his arms are aching. <laughs> He's covered in oil. <laughs> Brenda's a fucking legend. I'm so excited. Aha! It works, baby! And he fixed it. Now it's off to the races. See you on the other side. <laughs> That's not even his. That's not even his car. So they they filmed the whole thing, and then got this beast B roll footage of what another car doing burnouts and donuts. No buy, no buy. No see you next episode. Just that. That might be one of the worst bits of content I've ever watched. That might be one of the worst bits of content I've ever watched. Oh my fucking God. What was that? Yeah, Uche is right. The editing was way better. It did flow better, but it still didn't make any sense. Like, he started off with this fake sketch. Ford Lightning with no mods. Of them buying a car, right? The fake sketch calling the guy allegedly they spend around three minutes doing this whole fake call thing then we get the f- throwback you know little history lesson on what the fucking ford lightning is then it skips to him going to pick the put the, the footage you already clips we already see on instagram we already we already saw this on instagram by the way we saw this shit on instagram we saw him on Instagram doing this. Then check this bad boy out. Not a mark on it. Generation 2, 2000. He did all this shit on Instagram. All that stuff was already on Instagram. And then we, we have footage from T5K, which we already have seen. And then we have a, a video of him with his kid driving to the place to go get the car. No, driving back, I guess, allegedly. No, we don't. We don't see him driving back. It just skips to them driving the car to the garage. I just don't get why this isn't just like a, hey, watch me learn about cars in real time show. That would work way more, way better. I've always loved cars, but I'm usually into buying the higher end cars. It pans over to your fleet of amazing cars, the Ferrari, the Porsche, whatever other car you got. I'm normally on this type of level, but I want to get, you know, I want to get into older cars. I watched Fast and, Fur- Fast and Furious over the weekend with my kid. He fucking loves the movie now. So I'm going to, you know, start learning about cars, modding them, tuning them up, whatever it may be. This is my journey. Like you're kind of learning in real time. So you actually have video footage of him maybe trying to change the fucking rear lights, the headlights, you know, that would be quite cool. Like, hey, I'm I'm trying to learn. That might actually work. Not cool, that might work. But this show is like all over the place. So it's him doing mod mods on his own car. Wow. So it, it's him trying to do mods on his cars and then filming them while he takes them to garages to do the mods for him. But there's no like learning on his part. It's just him going to a garage, leaving the car there, sitting on his phone, and then you're seeing the guys do the whatever they're doing. Luckily, on this clip, we saw the guy talking to the camera, but usually they're not really talking to the camera, so you don't really know what's going on. And then we get a little clip of him in a car driving it, but he's not really doing much. He's just driving with straight lines. He's not even trying to do donuts. He's not taking it to the track. He's not taking them off-road. He's not filming any footage of that. He's not filming them. You know, hey, this is what I'll do. If I... He's not doing any, like, 
camping footage of it, right? Take it to a festival, take it to a comedy. Why? Yeah, why don't you take it to a comedy club? Hey, the life of a comedian. That was such a mediocre epic video for a guy getting fuel pump and a spark plug change. Exactly, Austin Casey. Next episode, Baba takes lightning to an oil change. Tune town. This episode, he goes onto a gas station to top off the air and the tires. <laughs> what an incredible waste of time wow wow okay cool I feel like I wasted hours of my life watching that shit that was absolutely horrendous that was absolutely fucking horrendous I'm not going to lie absolutely fucking shocking I have no words, really. I have no words. I have no words. I have no words. I have no words. <sighs> we just learn he's more redacted day by day. Exactly, Tom. 